go. Okay, just got home. I can't believe that this was at the dollar store. It's a Studio Series Transformer figure. Now, normally I, I don't really collect the newer Transformers, but for $4. And the thing I like about this is it's Ravage. I was always a big Soundwave and Ravage fan, and it does kind of transform into a little cassette-styled toy. So let's take a look at it and see if it was worth the 4 bucks. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I haven't really got a lot of the Studio Series stuff, but... I'm liking the look of it on the outside. Now, I, the last time I collected Transformers was the Titans Return line, or the Power of the Primes. I have some videos on those. Here's the instructions. And I've seen these at Walmart. It's got a bunch of accessories, I think for like 10 bucks or maybe more. I'm gonna cut that off. I'm not okay, gonna... so I got everything out of the box and here's Ravage. Look how good he looks. He's got the little Decepticon logo for four dollars and he had four accessories so this part goes underneath right here and then this little i think it's a light goes on top right there and then these go on the sides just like the original cartoon one put those in and then i'll transform them so that's a look at them all set up let's fix that and here's the instructions. It's not super complex. It says eight and up. Pretty easy to uh, set up and transform. Let's do that now. All in all for $4 though so far, just this little tiny figure is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take all the pieces off before I transform them. I don't know if I need to take this part off right here, but I'm going to do it anyway. They're super little, so you could lose them real easily. One other thing that really sets this figure apart for, I mean, for four bucks, that's what I'm grading it on, is its jaw moves as well. So you're going to want to push this down first, and then the tail's going to go down, and you actually put this accessory right here so that it doesn't get lost. So now that the head's down, you're going to push the tail down like this, and then you're going to disconnect the legs from this part right here. They will just kind of pop out and slide up and then push this part down. Next step, you're gonna flip these little legs up front like this and then fold the legs right here, straight up. And there's actually a little peg right there that that's gonna go into. This one, you do the same and connect it to the peg right there. So now all you're left with is the two legs sitting up like that. Then the little legs just come down like this, connect like that. This is kind of the last kind of real part. I don't necessarily like that part as much. They don't really clip in, but that's okay. Then on this side right here, you're gonna take these two accessories and put them in so you don't lose them. It's gonna add to his transformation as well. Like that. And this goes on top like this and that is the transformation mode i wish he had a robot form too but i obviously ravage in the movies didn't it'd be cool to find the other cassettes and uh, if they were compatible with soundwave super cool little transformer uh definitely worth getting for four dollars although i would keep him in animal mode for sure so now i'm going to transform him back real quick always easier to transform them back after you've done it a couple times this part comes out the little legs pop out Disconnect those, reconnect this in the back, flip the legs around. There we go, we got back feet ready. All in all, for $4, this is unbelievable. The fact that they have actual Transformers and not like those cheap knockoff ones there is great. So this part comes out. I hope they get more. I think it's basically just spill off of what didn't sell at uh, like Walmarts or Toys R Us's. And I'm all for it. Let's be honest. These go on the sides. I'm a sucker for any smaller Transformers. I always have been. I loved the uh, mini bots back in the day and even the smaller mini cons. Those were always ones that I would go for, bug my parents for. 
And where does this one go? Underneath again, yes. And Ravage is back in Transformer mode. This is this is the best part of the figure. This looks so good. The eyes, the mouth moves. Let me know if you've seen them at the uh, dollar store. I don't know if there's any other ones. I haven't seen any, but if I do, I will grab them and do a video. All in all, I hope you like the content. I'll look for more cool dollar store stuff to find. This has got to be one of the best things other than the Power Rangers I've found. Thanks for watching.